Well, good afternoon, VC. This is Bev here at Clarko Vision. And this is my response to Darcy's. Actually, it's a contest, isn't it? It's a contest. I was going to say thread there. Um, yeah, Darcy's doing a contest over at Darcy's Six Strings Nine Lives. You'll find the link to his channel below. If you haven't figured out who Darcy is by now and you don't sub, you're really missing out because he's got a great channel. Love his Ma Iron Maiden collection and he's into Judas Priest as well and Saxon. He's got bucket loads of stuff by these bands uh, and many more of course. So you'll find his link below and shame on you if you haven't subscribed. <laughs> anyway, so his contest is um, Eddie from Iron Maiden, Iron Maiden's Eddie. You have to show your six favourite Eddies, and that's it basically, I think. Um, if I've forgotten anything, I'll need to go back and do this again, probably. <laughs> um, so, um, this is going to be um, my entry. Now, I'm just going to start with, um, I can't show you something physical, because I don't have anything physical of this Eddie yet, but um, this is the latest Eddie and it's the, my um, favourite piece of artwork coming out of Iron Maiden um, for a while and it's this one, it's the Legacy of the Beast Eddie and this is just a picture from my iPad but I love this piece of art um, I'm sorry about the reflection there on the screen because it's a screen against a screen but I love this Eddie he kind of reminds me of I think I said this on Facebook one day, but the kind of ghost the dogs out of um, the movie Ghostbusters. Um, I think it kind of resembles just with the sort of horn things coming out in the, in the red eyes. But I like the fact that down here you've got the stained glass windows of all the other eddies from the past. And there's the, the crashed bomber plane, if you like, which will be symbolising um, Ace's High, probably. Um, so yeah, this is basically their latest um, tour, so that's one of my favourite Eddies. Um, I think he said six, but I think it's kind of seven, but um, a couple of them it's like the same Eddie, but anyway. So that's the first one, I'll just get that out of the way. Um, the rest are all I can show you from stuff. Uh, next one is... Peace of Mind Eddie, um, poor old Eddie and his padded cell here. Um, sometimes I think I would be quite happy <laughs> in a padded cell. <laughs> so this is this limited edition one that was a reissue um, with the the, um, the gatefold sleeve and the coloured the picture disc final, and this was twenty twelve. Um, there you go. But um, so <clears throat> the Eddie, obviously, for the peace of mind era, but my favourite from this is the Trooper. And there's the lovely picture disc. I love that Eddie. It's just very kind of patriotic, I guess, in a way, you know, the British soldier kind of thing. Um, uh, the other side is that one, the flight of Icarus. Um, but yeah, the trooper, uh, I kind of wrote them down so I'd sort of remember. I mean, there's loads of Eddies, as everybody knows, and we love them all, I think, you know. Um, so picking out just some was kind of difficult in a way, but... Um, so anyway, keeping going, my next favourite Eddie is the Mummy, the Mummy Eddie from Power Sleeve. Um, that is brilliant, that one. Love that. But being a fan of Scooby Doo when I was a kid, um, you know, running away from mummies, etc. Um, kind of, I, I like that, Eddie. And this is, you know, from the Power Slave booklet, um, big stage thing. And my next favourite Eddie to go along with that actually is the 
the Sphinx style Eddie. This one absolutely adore it because these are kind of based on ancient Egypt. These images. I've always had a fascination with ancient Egypt and the pharaohs and the pyramids and all that myself. Um, so I kind of was drawn to that in a way. But this is the first Iron Maiden T-shirt I ever got, believe it or not. And um, it's a it was a long sleeve. I've had this about 10, 12 years or something. Um, but it has um, you know, it has another couple of favourite eddies on it, and you've got the the sort of Sphinx style there. Um, the, uh, there. So that's one of my favourite eddies, yeah. And as I say, Sphinx are the mummy, so. And then I was just showing you my next favourite eddie in here as well, because um, it's got the cyborg eddie from Somewhere in Time. Yeah, and this was obviously their Somewhere Back in Time tour that happened in around, I don't know, was it 2008 or something? Something like that. But, um, you know, Somewhere Back in Time. So, Cyborg Eddie, he is absolutely fantastic. Um, I only have this, this one. I only have this on CD at the moment and I need to get this on vinyl purely for the artwork. Um, but also for this, the, the record, but I need to have the artwork bigger. Um, fantastic. It's just, you know, the artwork is just magic. Even West Ham 7, Arsenal 3. <laughs> I could live with that as well. <laughs> but again, the Somewhere in Time, you know, that's on here. Just super cool and, you know, it doesn't really get much cooler than that, except it does. Um, as we're down to my favourite Eddie now, and um, two of them here. Seventh Son of a Seventh Son Eddie. Um, this is my second favourite artwork of all time, this one. Um, I do have the album. I've got the original press and the reissue. <coughs> Fantastic Eddie. I mean I don't know what you'd kind of call it. It's kind of half cyborg in here as well, um, you know, because you've got the kind of laser eyes and the, the kind of metal showing and um, the, the heads on fire here in this picture, you know. <laughs> um, so yeah, and my absolute favourite Eddie is this one, is the Can I Play the Madness. It's my absolute favourite, um, although it's the same Eddie, um, this is my favourite, with the the fist going straight through one ear and grabbing the brain and right out, you know, the other side of the head. Nails flying everywhere. This spoon is sp spooning in, I don't know, fuel or something. You know, can I play with madness? It's 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 quite a mad picture at, at the end of the day, isn't it? But this, this is special to me because of um, this was what introduced me to Iron Maiden. Um, when I heard this in the charts, in the British charts, um, I liked it and um, it was just well, basically, as I say, introduced me to Iron Maiden. And, uh, <clears throat> this is an original 12 inch, this is the reissue 7 inch. This is an original of the, 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 the CD, the 10 years series, the first 10 years series. Um, and we've got the artwork for that there as well. And of course my flag, I had to get that um, when I discovered it. So, so there we have it. These are my favourite 80s. Um, I like the Book of Souls, but I think somebody mentioned, was it Metal Mickey? said that the Book of Souls Eddie was getting back to some of the, the better looking Eddies because there has been a few in recent times that haven't been quite as, uh, I don't know, up to the, the, the quality if you like of past Eddies. But, um, but yeah, but so there we have it. Um, as I say, 
Thanks very much, Darcy, for doing the contest. What a great subject. Everybody loves Eddie. Um, and hope this is okay for you. Um, and I shall see you all in another video. And don't forget to subscribe below to Darcy. Right, bye the now.